So a common issue you might be having is connecting your AirTag to your iPhone. Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're tackling a common issue um, with the Apple AirTags. Um, and it's when they won't connect to your iPhone. So I'll give you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to get your AirTag to connect to your iPhone. So let's say you have a brand new AirTag but it's not connecting to your iPhone. Of course, the app you're supposed to use is called FindMod, which you use to keep track of your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, your Mac, AirPods, and of course, your AirTag. So first, you wanna make sure that your Bluetooth and your internet connection is enabled. So you can swipe down the top of the screen and then click here, and then make sure that your, your Wi-Fi is turned on and make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Next, you can restart your iPhone and your AirTag. A simple restart can fix connectivity issues. To restart your iPhone, you hold down the power button and you hold the volume button down at the same time. So now I'm holding them down at the same time and then you can power off and then hold the power button to turn it back on. And then your phone should turn on. So to restart your AirTag, you want to remove the battery. And the way you do that is you press on the center and you kind of rotate it until it comes loose. Then you can remove the battery. So the type of battery that is, it's a 2032 Duracell battery and it's about three volts. So what we can do is test the battery with a multimeter. So just turn on the multimeter, turn it to volts and set it to about 20 and there's uh, two zeros after the decimal place. And make sure you have the black and red probes attached. So we're going to touch the black probe to the flat end here and the red probe will touch the other side with the writing. Okay, so I'm putting the black probe on the back side, which is the negative side, and putting the red probe on the front side. As you can see, it's 2.8 volts. So this, this is a three volt battery, so it's a little bit under three volts. So it still has some power left. So let's place the battery back in the air tag. So the negative side goes on the bottom, and then the positive side goes on top with the writing. So we just need to put the plate back on. And as you can see that it's making noise as I'm trying to put this back on. And you just put it on and then rotate the plate on until it kind of like snaps in. And if it still doesn't work, let's try resetting the network settings. This won't reset your data, but it will reset Wi-Fi passwords and Bluetooth connections. So first you wanna to go to settings, then go to general, then go to transfer reset phone, go to reset, and then reset network settings. And then you wanna to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Another thing you could do if you're still having issues connecting your AirTag to the iPhone, you can make sure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Sometimes the iOS updates, um, they include fixes for any connectivity issues. To update your iPhone, you go to settings, go to general, and then go to software update. And then this screen will tell you if there's any updates available. So if there's any updates available, make sure to update your iPhone. And if you're still having issues, you can also replace your battery. Just make sure that it's a CR2032 battery. Then you can try to connect your AirTag to your iPhone. Press the power button, then open your iPhone to the main screen, then hold the AirTag close to your iPhone. And then if you see a pop-up, press connect. And then all you do is follow the prompts. Another way is open the Find My app, then navigate to items, then hit the plus sign, then add AirTag. Your phone will search for the AirTag, just hold it up close, and then you'll get the pop-up. Then press connect, and then follow all the prompts to connect your AirTag. And that's it. Your AirTag should now be connected to your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, let me know if you had any issues, or if you still can't connect. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.